everybody, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my younger sister, Sarah, who is a physical therapy assistant. And I asked her to join me for this video because I know that a lot of people, me included, have issues with back pain. Um, that's why I first became interested in these foam rollers, um, but they are good for so many other things. And that's why I asked Sarah to come in because of the type of work that she does. She's familiar with this and knows a lot more about them than I do. So we're going to kind of go over um, how they can help your back, but how they can also help other areas of your body, especially if you um, if you go to the gym and you work out, if you're a runner. She used to do CrossFit pre her 37 week pregnancy almost. So um, there's a whole lot of things you can use this for. And I just wanted to introduce this to you in case it is something that can help um, your body, your back, whatever the situation is. I will put a link in the description box below where you can check out this. It's actually exactly. a three roller. One. So you've got an 18 inch roller here and then you can slide out this orange one that has little ridges in it that you can see, um, this one for more of a trigger point, and then you have a deep tissue stick. And they all nest into one, so I think that's pretty awesome. And Sarah is going to tell us more about these and the benefits and how to use them. So, first of all, I guess um, we'll start with this big one. What, or overall, however you want to go about it, um, what are the benefits to this and why would a person want to use these? So basically think of any of the same benefits as you would go and get manual, a therapeutic massage. Uh, traction on the muscles, um, that manual pressure is going to increase circulation, promote healing. Um, you're going to be able to use this on yourself instead of having to have a second person come in and work on it with you. Um, just to, to, to stretch those soft tissues. Um, and to manually lengthen those muscles to provide pain relief. Um, that's where a lot of the pain most likely is coming from. We walk around. For me, with a one lot thing, of tight one, one issue that I have is I'll go to the chiropractor for an adjustment, and my muscles are so tight that I don't adjust well. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that would help loosen those up and give me a better adjustment, right? Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and you can use it every day. Um, just consistency is really going to help stretch out those muscles. And you may and actually get a little bit of distraction of the vertebra just to kind of open up that joint space which may take some pressure off of the nerves um, and then allow pain Sarah, relief Sarah, what there. would we use? Can you give us just an idea of what we would use each one of these three things for? Sure. So to start the, the high density foam roller, um, you can use this basically anywhere. This is going to be for just general stretching. So it's going to be pretty comfortable um, as you're rolling on it because it's got a nice foam to it. Um, and it's just going to help kind of lengthen your muscles, um, relieve tightness, which will relieve pain. Um, this can really be used in any area of the body. The trigger point roller is really nice because the texture uh, will let you be able to find trigger points a little bit better. Those really small areas that may need a little extra relief and a little extra pressure. Um, so this is, may not be comfortable on all areas, um, but it will do a great job for finding So this is the points. massage stick, and this is all of these are great because you can treat yourself with them. Uh, a lot of my patients don't have access to be able to go out and get these or find these, so I actually have them use a regular rolling pin. This is much better. <laughs> This, um, I really like using on uh, places hands. that need a little more um, pressure, and you can just use it on yourself and roll right up that IT band. Um, another quads. great use for this, uh, if you have a workout partner or a spouse that could use it on you, um, it works really great for the hamstrings, so that would just kind of be the back of the thigh, um, quads, IT band. Um, it just allows a lot more okay. pressure. So Amber mentioned having some lower back pain after having kids. So we're just going to start with um, a little bit of the basics first. We're going to start with the foam roller. So Amber, I just want you to kind of lift your bottom up a little bit and stick that right under your lower back. Yep, perfect. So what you want to do is kind of think to make a fulcrum where your, your spine is going to be overextended. So she's starting really low down here. So what I want you to do is just... Yeah, keep your feet on the floor and then bend your knees and you're just going to kind of roll. Now, you want to try and keep everything really relaxed because you're going to have more of a benefit 
with this. So we're thinking about the muscles are just going to rock back. back and forth. Now if you feel a tight area, then you want to kind of teeter-totter back and forth on that tight area. Okay. Alright, so we, we don't want to just focus on that area that you have pain in. You want to think about the structure surrounding that too. Um, so we're going to go up a little bit higher, roll down or move it up. So roll your hips down, yep, yep, so you're going up closer to your, the middle of your back. Alright, and see how that feels. See if you can find some tight areas there. Yep, the whole okay. thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of stay on that, roll, do a few short rolls. You don't want to just kind of aimlessly roll back and forth up and down your spine. Right. Just little movements. Yep. Just Not little movements. Right. Right. Um, and then you can even come down even further. Yep. Let your hips drop. Let your butt kind of drop towards the floor. That's really So you're tight. really <laughs> overextending that lumbar spine. Amber's got to take a few deep breaths because she's really tight back there. Yep. Okay. So what we're doing here is we are stretching out those muscles around the lumbar spine. We're stretching out those muscles around the lumbar spine, but also think about the actual vertebra themselves. Right now we're mobilizing those, opening up some space between them to relieve the nerve. So lots of different ways to get pain relief and here. Pain in your, in your mid-back, mm -hmm. your thoracic. So let's roll, roll this way. We're going to get that right on the middle of your back. Yep, about right there. Okay. Because a lot of people, a lot of people sitting in the car a lot, yeah. which is me. Alright, yeah, so overextend your back a little bit. Now, cross your arms over your chest. Perfect. So, especially when you're doing your thoracic spine, you may get a few cracks like you would when you go to see the chiropractor for an adjustment. The more you can relax and just let your spine extend over that foam roller, the more that might happen. Which is a great thing. That's joint mobilizations. You're opening up the space between those vertebrae. Okay, so this is a really good stretch. Now, a lot of people are going to be more tight on one side as opposed to the other. So, one thing we can do, let's say Amber's more tight on her right side. That's her dominant side. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do, tuck your chin a little bit. Okay, now I just want you to put more pressure on that right side. Hmm. Alright, now do a few short rolls just kind of up and down. Good. So good. Yep. Okay. So that's also a great way to relieve some tension that may be preventing you from having the best golf swing, tennis swing, or baseball pitch that you can have. There you go, right? Okay. Um, so if you have pain with, say, overhead movements when you're working out, just uh, maybe at your job, this is a great way to relieve some of that and be able to stretch out those tissues to improve your range of motion so you're not going to have the pain with the overhead movements. So all Amber's doing here, arms up behind her head, straight, she's relaxed. She's got that nice overextended posture in her thoracic spine. Feel like a good stretch? It does. That's yep. good. Alright. You can also add, you can still roll, do some small rolls with this one. May get a crack or two out of that one. Okay, so this one is the uh, trigger point release roller. Um, this one's got, not going to be quite as comfortable, um, but it is going to allow more pinpoint pressure to relieve some of those trigger points or myofascial release, which is definitely going to be the source of pain if you, you find that trigger little point. trigger point. Stay on that. Okay. You stop rolling. You can, yeah. Stop rolling. Stay on that point. For about 15 seconds. Yeah, it's tight, I feel like. Yeah, you can kind of feel it way. going down your arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Might make you grimace a little bit. <laughs> okay, so at least 15 seconds because what you're doing, putting pressure on that trigger point, letting lactic acid seep out, clearing out that area to relieve that trigger point. Okay. So you may okay. have to do that same trigger point four or five times. In one session? In one session. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but eventually that trigger point is going to go away. Oh, good. Yeah. 
But the only way that trigger point's going away is manual pressure on it. So that's why I really like this type of roller that you can get in that focal area. Now we're going to use this. Okay. What are we going to use this for? <clears throat> so on yourself, I like to use this on quads and IT bands. Feels good. Yeah. Lots of pressure. We're just going to start right above the knee. And we're just rolling those hamstrings up. How's that feel? <laughs> No, but it feels good though. Yeah. So you want to stay off of any bony area with this because that's not going to feel good. Um, which is why I just start right above the knee where the hamstrings insert and then go right up to just below the Okay, so bone. Sarah is going to demo this. So, And keep in mind, she is almost 37 weeks pregnant. So, <laughs> Okay, so I want to show you guys um, rolling your IT band with the big foam roller. Now, if you're a runner or uh, lift weights, do a lot of um, more strenuous exercise, you know you're gonna have some pain in your IT band. So we're gonna start right on the side of the hip, okay, right at the bony area, and then we're gonna go down, right down that IT band, okay? So I'm staying completely on the side of that leg. The IT band runs from the very outside of the hip all the way down to the outside of the knee. Okay, it's a very dense piece of tissue that can cause a can cause a lot of problems. Okay, so my body weight is pushing down and helping stretch out and lengthen that IT band. You can also do hamstrings. This one's a little bit easier. You're just gonna sit on the foam roller and we're gonna start right at your sit bone. And same thing, so my body weight is allowing the pressure to just roll out and lengthen those hamstrings. If I happen to have a really tight area, or if you find a trigger point, you might want to actually switch out to the trigger point roller, the orange one, okay? And I just go all the way through the length of those hamstrings. This one feels really good after a good run, which I have not been doing. <laughs> All right. And then lastly would be your quads. Same thing after a good workout session, lifting, a um, lot of tightness through the quads. So this one you're just going to go down. You can do both at the same time or you can do one. Okay. And I'm just on my elbows. and just rolling those quads. Hey everybody, it's Amber. It is almost a week later and clearly my voice is going and I, thanks to the wonders of technology, my closing that I did, that video my file sister. mysteriously disappeared. So I just wanted to hop on here and thank you for watching this video. I learned so much from her about using foam rollers. I knew how to use them just a little bit here and there, but I had no idea that they were so multi-use for so many different parts of the body. So I hope that you learned as much in that experience as I did. Check out the description box below. I will list the actual rollers that I showed in the video if you're interested in checking Utilizing those out. Utilizing a foam roller can make a lot of difference in your back, in different areas of your body where you but might you know, have muscle tightness. You know, always check with your doctor or healthcare professional if you have a history of any illnesses or injuries or anything like that. So anyway guys, if you haven't it, already take subscribed care. to my channel, please do so. I'm posting at least four videos a week now. I don't want you to miss any of those. Click the thumbs up button for more videos like this that can help improve your health. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.